Hi friends, today we are going to see about the pump room calculation and the fire water tank and pump capacity calculation. Come, let us see the hydrant pump capacity calculation. Hydrant flow rate is 600 liter per minute for every riser. Assume we have three riser, then 3 into 600 LPM is 1800 LPM is the discharge. So the pump we have to select with 1800 LPM. Similarly, we need to find head for the same pump. Head can be calculated by adding the vertical height and the fittings used in the pipeline. That we can arrive it by using the chart available for converting the fittings into the length. The storage tank capacity can be arrived by multiplying the total LPM as per the number of risers with 90 minutes backup. And everybody know 1 GPM is 3.785 liters. Assume that we have 3 riser, then 3 into 600 LPM is 1800 LPM. 90 minutes backup will be 1800 into 90 is 1,62,000 LPM water tank capacity required. As we see in the previous videos, the sprinkler spacing we are maintaining at 3.6 meter interval and in the condition of sprinkler coverage from 10 square meter to 12 square meter. So maximum area of operation is 360 square meter at 5 liter per minute. So design density will be always 0.15 GPM per square feet. The minimum flow at the remotest sprinkler point is 57 LPM at 0.5 bar. Let us have an example to understand the calculation. As I said earlier, the, the area of the operation is 360 square meter and we are using a sprinkler coverage and an average of 10 to 12 square meter. So if you divided by 360 divided by 11, so we will get 33 sprinklers. And we know each sprinkler will have 57 LPM discharge. So when we multiply, we will get 1880 LPM. So 1880 LPM is the pump discharge we need to select and the total head discharge we need to select and let us find the head for the pump. The total head is the summation of vertical head and friction head losses. Vertical head is the vertical height of the pipe. So friction loss we will arrive it by the summation of horizontal length and size type of the pipe and fittings by referring the chart which is attached here. By using the chart we can find out the losses, the friction head losses. With the help of the chart we can convert the losses in the fittings into the length of the pipe so that we can arrive the total head easily. Here. The sample details is given, depends upon the type of pipe, depends upon the manufacturer, they will give in detail. So by using this, you can convert the fittings losses into the length in meter. We can convert elbows, T's, return bends, valves, strainers into length. So that this length can be added along with the vertical length to achieve the total head. So the conclusion is by adding the vertical height and the fittings conversion, we will arrive the head of the pump. This will be applicable for all the sprinkler and hydrant pumps. Whereas the capacity of the Jackie pump will be 7 to 10 percentage of the main pump capacity. This will be the industry standard which we are maintaining across. After we find out the discharge and the head of the pump, we need to find out the HP of the pump. HP is nothing but the horsepower. So I have given a formula HP is equal to Q into H divided by 3960 whereas HP is the horsepower, Q the flow rate or the discharge in GPM and H is the total head in feet. So here whichever we have in meter, the total head we need to convert into feet to arrive HP. Let us see an example to understand better. As per this video, we have seen that 1800 LPM when we are converting into GFPM, it is coming around 475 GPM and the height after arriving the 
building height vertical pipeline plus fittings and converting into the length we are arriving 2 ton feet and we will use these two details into the formula to arrive hp so 4 hp is equal to 475 into 2 ton divided by 3960 that is hp is equal to 25 hp so we need to select 20 percentage higher from the arrived value that is 25 into 1.2 is 30 hp so it depends upon the pump efficiency we need to select this whatever we check it is the basic thumb rule calculation to check any parameters or any details in the building if you want in detail you can run through the hydraulic calculation and you can find out the precise details there is a separate software available with the oem so who used to do all these calculations we know these calculations we can cross check the capacity of the pump and we can cross check the capacity of the tank thank you for watching this video hope you enjoyed a lot and you understand please do share to your near and dear ones your colleagues so that everybody will aware of the fire hydrant system thank you